due to the lockdown, a huge number of students across the country were not able to pursue their internships. And that is one of the many reasons they want to pursue an online certificate course. Many of them have already pursued a number of certificate courses and a lot of them are still trying to figure out what kind of certificate course uh, they should do. See, the certificate course or an online certificate course cannot guarantee your recruitment. Uh, obviously, it can enhance the chances of your recruitment, but a certificate course or an online certificate course on its own cannot guarantee the recruitment. The recruitment does not work that way. Yet, uh, I am receiving a number of comments and messages on my Instagram handle asking about some certificate courses which can help them to land a job. See, the recruitment does not work that way. The recruiter or the interviewer is looking at your profile as a whole. He or she is not looking at one specific certificate course in most of the cases. Uh, they won't go like, Oh, oh, you have done HACCP level 3. Salary kitni loge, decide kar lein. It doesn't work that way. So, you, you have to focus on your profile as a whole. You have to work on your profile holistically. Let me give you an analogy. Let's say that you bought a car and you have to participate in the race. And it's not just about participation. It is absolutely important for you to win the race, to be successful in the race. Uh, so you think that, okay, I can modify some parts of the car. So let me modify XYZ part of the car. And that way I will be able to succeed in the race. That way I'll be able to win the race. Uh, so it doesn't work that way. Why it doesn't work that way? Because a modified part on its own cannot help you to win the race, cannot help you uh, to be successful in the race. You have to take care of your steering wheel, you have to take care of your gear, your clutch, your brake, your race. You have to take care of a number of factors in order to win the race. It does not depend. Your success rate uh, truly does not depend, solely does not depend on the modified part. In the same way, the modified part is uh, something like a certificate course, an online certificate course. And the race is like the race for getting a job. And your profile is like your race car, your car that you bought. So see, when you are applying for a job, it's like a race, right? And you have to, uh, you think that, okay, if I try some modified parts, if I apply some modified parts or I, if I apply some modification in, in the form of some online certificate courses, that way I'll be able to win the race. Obviously, it will enhance the chances of winning the race, but it will not solely depend on that modified part. So you have to work on your profile holistically. Apart from pursuing certificate courses, you can focus on your communication skills, building your communication skills, whether it is verbal or written communication skills. These skills will never go in vain. So I really recommend you, I encourage you to master your communication skills. Other than that, you can also master some of the basic concepts of food science and food technology because a number of times, uh, the recruiter or the interviewer can ask you some basic questions like uh, how do you estimate protein using the Jaldal method or what are the three stages in the Jaldal method and uh, what is the bacterial strain in the curd formation. I'm just giving you some basic examples. So the recruiter can, or the interviewer can ask you some basic questions and a lot of times the students are just blank. They don't know these basic questions. They think that the interviewer, uh, interviewer, will, interviewer will ask some complicated questions, some convoluted questions, but that is not the case in most of the cases. As a fresher, they will ask the basics. They will definitely ask the basics. So it is, it makes complete sense to master the basic concepts of food science and technology. So it is common sense to master your basic concepts, but common sense is not so common, right? <laughs> uh, apart from that, if you really want to pursue some certificate courses, you can definitely go for HACCP level one. If you are interested in food safety, if you really want to go for food production or food quality or food safety in these domains, you can definitely look out for HACCP level one. This is a beginner course uh, and there are some organizations from which you can pursue this course like TUV, Intertech, DNV, SGS India. And you, you may have observed that I usually take the name of these two or three organizations. And there's a reason behind that. These organizations are enlisted and recognized by FSSAI as the auditing agencies that can audit some food companies or some food businesses. So 
if if i were to pursue uh, an online course an online certificate course i would definitely the knowledge will definitely matter to matter to me but apart from that the validity of the certificate will also matter to me so that if i show a certificate to someone it has some validity so these organizations are recognized and i will also uh, mention a link down in the description so you can check there are around 23 or 24 uh, different organizations that have been enlisted by fssi which are recognized so if you pursue uh, hsccp course or any other course from these organizations it will have some validity it will definitely be valid all right so this was the truth about certificate courses that i wanted to share with you i hope that you gained something helpful out of this video if you really think that this video has helped you in some way make sure you hit that thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not already make sure you hit the bell icon as well so that you don't miss the new videos when they come up i'll see you next time class dismissed